guys what's up and welcome back to my channel my name is ayana for you guys who are new here i run a candle business by the name of so yaya in today's video we're going to be going over candle formulas i know that i have a video already like showing you guys exactly how i do my candle formulas and doing a full breakdown but the video kind of had a few discrepancies in it and then I had to make a part two. So the video just doesn't flow as well as I would like it to. And so I thought it would just be the perfect time to give you guys a better updated video and then also to show you the formulas that I use for the exact jars that you guys are always asking me about. But I do have other videos up on my channel, you guys, showing you exactly how I make my coconut soy candles. But this video specifically of how you have to structure your formulas. I will be showing you all of my formulas using grams today um i do this for across the board for all of my candles it's just so much easier for me to work in grams so you will see that everything that i'm doing i have already converted from ounces to grams and i use google to do any of the conversions for units of measurements i did want to go over briefly some of the vocabulary words that you will be seeing that you may not be as familiar with or if you have seen them you don't quite know exactly what they mean so you will see me talk about net weight and then all also fragrance oil load so your net weight is going to be the weight of the wax in ounces and grams of the candle the net weight doesn't include the weight of the jar or the vessel it is just the wax and I do have a video coming for you guys should be posted tomorrow showing you how you will find your net weight or your fill weight and then you have your FO which is the fragrance oil load the fragrance load or the fragrance percentage is the manufacturer's recommended maximum amount of fragrance that a particular wax can retain it simply means the percentage of fragrance you'll mix into your jar along with your candle wax it is always expressed as the percentage uh, from your manufacturers that you know you use anywhere between 8 and 12 percent but sometimes it's 6 to 8 percent you just have to make sure that you check with your manufacturer to ensure that you get a good scent throw without impacting the flame's ability to burn through the viscous fragrance oil or cause causing any disturbances to the top of the candle or causing your wick to suit. It's just so many factors that go into your fragrance oil load. So you need to make sure that you are testing these candles to ensure that you're getting a good quality candle. With that being said, this is the formula that we're gonna be using. Before we get started, I do wanna let you guys know that I convert everything from ounces to grams because it's a lot easier when you are dealing with the math portion of candle making it just makes everything simpler, um, especially when you pick up production. Have your net weight. Our net weight just means how much can your candle jar hold. It doesn't mean what the jar is before you know putting anything in. It just means the contents of the wax, the fragrance oil that you put in your jar. Our net weight, and then we divide that by 100%, and then this is our fragrance oil percentage. A lot of times people are like, well, how do I figure out, you know, what fragrance oil percentage I'm going to be using? Usually that just means specifically whatever type of wax that you're using. Make sure that you're checking with the manufacturer that you're getting your wax from and see what do they normally recommend. And then you're not going to really know until you start testing it out because you need to know, okay, this doesn't work well with the wicks that I'm using or this just doesn't work well with the candle dye that I'm using. So there's so many different uh, variations that come into how to choose your fragrance load, um, but that usually is somewhere between eight and 12%. Again, it just depends on what wax you're using, what type of scent that it is, it's just a lot of different things. We have our net weight divided by 100% plus our fragrance oil percentage, and that's gonna give us our wax weight needed. And that just means how much wax we're gonna be using to fill up our candle jars. You don't have a completed candle just by having your wax. You now have to include the fragrance oil, and so that is where this comes in. So you'll take your net weight the minus the wax weight, and that's gonna give you your fragrance oil needed. Um, I know it looks like a lot right now, but come together so much better when we plug it into our formulas. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. All right, you guys, so make sure you get a good screenshot of this because this is the formula that we're gonna be using the entire time. I know you guys are always asking me, Ayana, what jars are you using? Like how many wicks, whatever. So we're gonna go through that really quickly as well. So this is our most popular jar. This is the 14 ounce Havana jar. Fill this one to 10.4 ounces. This is my most popular jar. This is the one that I was using before I even got any of the other jars. This was, I believe the 
18 ounce Sydney jar and this is the one that I double wick and this is the seven ounce Machigiano and this is single wick. All right, so first up we have our 14 ounce Havana jars. I do not fill these jars to 14 ounces. I fill it to 10 ounces. So I don't want that to confuse you, but I know a lot of times if I don't say the jar and I'm just saying the net the net weight of the jar, it confuses a lot of people. So I just wanna make sure that I say, that's not what I'm filling it to, but I'm just gonna put it there so that you have it for your visual. So I actually fill these jars to 10.4 ounces. That is going to give us 295 grams. Again, I convert everything over to grams from ounces. So you have your 295 grams, which is our net weight. And then I'm gonna use 11% fragrance oil. Go ahead and write the formula and bring it down. So I have 295 grams. I'm gonna divide that by 100%. And then you're gonna and then you're gonna be adding in your fragrance oil so all that i did you guys and i don't want that to confuse you but all that i did was just i'm basically just bringing everything down start plugging in from our formula and that's this step here now we're gonna have our 295 grams and again, you guys, you can skip this step, but I like to have it in there. I like to just write it all out. It just makes way more sense for me. So you have your 295 grams, and then you're gonna divide that by, you're gonna add these two together, 111%. You're gonna go ahead and plug that into your calculator, and that is gonna give you 266 grams of wax. So that is how much wax is needed to fill our 14 ounce Havana jars. Um, so we're not done yet because we still need to know how much fragrance oil is needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this and then plug everything back up for you guys so you can still visually see it. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug in so that we can get our fragrance oil. All right, so we know that we have 266 grams of wax, but we still need to figure out our fragrance oil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking our net weight from the beginning, which was 295. So you're gonna take your 295 grams and you're, and you're gonna be minusing your wax weight. So that's 266 grams of wax. You're gonna get 29 grams of fragrance oil. So you have 266 grams of wax and then you have 29 grams of fragrance oil. So if you were doing multiple candles, literally the easiest step of all of this, I promise. <laughs> Just say you were doing three candles. So you'll take 266 times that by three and that's gonna give you 798 grams. And that's gonna be how much wax that you need to make three candles. So now you're like, okay, so how much fragrance oil do I need? So you're just gonna take however much it took for you to make one candle. So you're gonna take your 29 grams and then you're gonna times that by three, 87 grams of fragrance oil. And this is what you'll need to do three candles. I'm sorry that I wrote it sideways like that, you guys but it's a little hard to write and be in view of the camera. I hope that I'm not confusing you guys, but if I am, let's go ahead and go to the next problem so that we can make sure we're all on the same page. All right, you guys, so on to our next formula. So we have our 18 ounce and these kidney jars. If you use these same jars, you may fill yours a little bit higher than I, or you may fill it a little bit lower. So definitely comment down in the comment section, you guys, and let me know, like, what are you filling your jars to if you use these same jars? Audio went out on the other videos, so I had to give you guys the 18 ounce Sydney jar, um, just give you a visual without me being in the camera. And I think this is a little bit better anyway, so I'm not, like, my head is not completely 
covering up the entire frame. All right, so these are the 18 ounce Sydney jars. I actually filled them to 15 ounces. Um, if you use these jars, you probably fill yours to maybe 15 point something, maybe even up to 16. But I feel the wax and the fragrance oil fits comfortably in 15 ounces. So, um, 425 grams gives us the conversion from 15 ounces. Again, I do all of my conversions in Google. So that will be our net weight, 425 grams. And that just means fragrance oil plus the amount of wax that we're going to be using. In this example, we're going to be using a 10% fragrance oil load. So we're just going to work our way down through the problem. So we have 425 grams, and then we're going to be dividing that by 100%. That's our 10% fragrance oil load. And then we just bring the problem down. You do 425 grams divided by 110%, and that is going to give you 386 grams of wax. To get our fragrance oil, all we'll be doing is taking our net weight, minusing the amount of wax that we just got, and that's going to be giving us 39 grams of fragrance oil. If you want to see the formulas for any of the other candle jars and I will be happy to do them for you. Um, if you like this video definitely don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Make sure you guys tell me what you want to see down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!